So this job here, I'm doing some hand sanding. This is gonna be a job where we're gonna water pop the floor. Um, that involves putting water on the floor and raising the grain because the homeowner here wants the color to be very, very dark. So I'll try to make the floor as dark as we can. And as you can see, if you look across here, you can see a shine, a shine in the, uh, shine in the floor. And there you can see it right there. See how shiny it is? Mostly at right there, you can see it right where the, the edges meet the, the middle, where the drum sander, see dull, shiny, shiny, it's all shiny right here. So the idea of water popping it is to make the grain or the wood have all the same texture. And so I'm doing a little test area here without hand sanding this area. And we're gonna see what it looks like. What I usually do here, like I said, I usually hand sand the butt ends about eight inches out in this area right here where the right where the edger runs. So we're gonna see what happens here. I also want to add that one of my friends owns a a floor sanding company also. It's called Finish Line Floors in, uh, here in Michigan. And what he does is the area where the, where the edger runs along the, along the edges, the butt ends. He, uh, after he gets done edging this area here, he actually hand scrapes. He actually hand scrapes all the edges, hand scraper. Hand scrapes all the edges and then he flat plates it. They call it flat plating or hard plating. I think they call it hard plating. And uh, with the buffer over there. After he gets done hard plating it, oh, there's, look at that. Live right on the water, or this house is right on the water. The first boat of the year came in, so they're coming into dock. It's crazy. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's some real nice units here on Lake St. Clair. Yeah, the guy's just coming in with his boat. So, still early, very early in the season here in Michigan. But, yeah, you can see Lake St. Clair there. Real nice units here with the boat docks and everything, but get back to what I was talking about. My friend, he, he, uh, hand scrapes all the edges there and then he hand scrapes all the edges along here after it's edged and then he hard plates it hard plate plating involves a thin felt backer pad on the bottom of the uh, buffer and then it's held down with a um, a large washer and a bolt on the bottom of the edge uh, buffer and it's basically a large disc that's um, usually like a 120 grit on the buffer and he hard plates it hard plates the whole thing he goes all the way I guess I think he said he goes all the way from wall to wall and then he water pops it water pops the floor and it comes out really good so my normal way of doing something like this I don't like water popping the floor but when I have to I uh, always hand sand and then unlike hard plating I use a uh, a screen you can see here it's a 150 grit screen a 120 or a 150 grit screen and I go around the edges or I go around the floor back and forth not not getting over by the edges though you want to leave that area go because that's already smooth so screen sand the whole thing going at a at a kind of a semi slow pace 
and then I vacuum it all up and then I water pop it and it usually comes out good but I'm trying to just get in, trying to get away from having to uh, hand sand which is most of the work and uh, trying to get away with that without without having to hand sand so um, all right stay tuned another thing I want to add to this job here is uh, this room here actually they had a flood a little flood area here um, by the kitchen and then it flowed into this room here and destroyed the floor so we we tore it all out we put uh, new three-quarter inch plywood down also and uh, installed a, a new floor in the ma master bedroom I guess this is the master bedroom these are small units way overpriced though probably like three hundred four hundred thousand dollars for one of these which is ridiculous but it's expensive to live on the water there's that boat down there way down there he's parked down there first boat in the marina so I'm gonna put a little stain on this stain on the I'm using uh I think this is called espresso espresso stain which is about as close as I can come to the color dribble some stain on here it's a mess while I'm holding the camera See what it looks like. See what it looks like. Let's see what he got here. It's got to look consistent from the edges to the To the center. It looks like it's going to be. It may look okay. Yeah, there we go. Get some stain on that. So, doesn't look too bad. So that's the area where I water popped it. So, I don't know. You guys be the judge. It actually looks pretty damn good without even hand sanding this area right here, just water popping it. Although I can see some fine scratches right in here. They're very close. Oh, there's a little line right here. Right where the right where the met drum sander meets the edge right there. Little bit of an edge there. Not bad though. Huh. Man. Might be something. Anybody out there watch this video? Maybe they can help me out here. Um I'm a very experienced person, but I don't do a lot of water popping um, on floors, so uh, we'll see. Any comments would helpful be helpful. Anybody else that does this uh, floor staining for finishing for a living, um, comments will be helpful. All right, thanks.